Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Leon, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I am here to give you a tour of one of my favorite communities in Rockland, known as Rock Creek. Um, so it is a few subdivisions in Rockland. Uh, this is the community that I personally live in. The houses are built starting from the late 1990s to the early 2000s. So at this time of the bit at the time of this video, they're going to be about 20 to 24 years old for the most part. Now, these homes consist of stucco and tile roofs. The average size of these homes is going to be 1300 to 3300 square feet, starting three bedroom, two bath to uh, five bedroom, uh, three full baths. So again, community that I live in, there are a lot of things I love of this community, one of which is a park right down the street. They just redid the streets here just last year. Uh, so as you can see, streets look nice and new. And Rock Creek is actually separated by a few uh, streets. So Sunset, Galleria Boulevard, Blue Oaks kind of encompasses. I'm gonna take you right here just to show you this park and then I'm gonna kind of turn back around. So as you can see, pride of ownership, there's no HOA here. So the park's gonna be here on the left drive on the way back. No HOA, so you have a little more control over what you can do with your house. At the time of this video, it's Halloween, so there is lots going on, lots of decorations that you're going to see. But the prices in this neighborhood in particular, in this side of Rock Creek, are gonna be anywhere from 600,000 to about eight, to about 30,000, so wide range, but great family neighborhood. We're coming here at the end of this almost court-like structure. You see this walking trail here. There's a walking trail that goes all the way through Rock Creek. You have a little book cubby there where you can take and, and put books in there. So this right here is Night Ridge Park. As we come around here, we can see a huge, it's tree-lined around the outside. It's a huge grass area. This is one of the many Rockland parks. I believe there's 28 parks in Rockland. So as we come around here, lots of parking. It's a family-oriented park. They have uh, basketball courts and two-play structures uh, along with the walking trail that you know, people are walking their dogs at all times. A covered picnic area with a barbecue pit and four tables. You got swings. It's a great little park. I walk here with my kids all the time. Uh, so we spend many mornings and afternoons out here. Sometimes there's some soccer every now and again. <clears throat> but this is just a simple everyday community and, and I do enjoy living here. My family consists of four boys. So my wife and I have been married 11 years. So as you can see, here's the other part of the walking trail that actually goes to the park. So the walking trail starts on sunset at the Human Bean, which is a coffee shop, and it goes all the way through and then it, you can basically cross over Park, and which Park is the name of a street, a street that goes through Rockland. And, and then the, the walking trail will actually um, continue to recall a park. So it just continues all the way around, which is pretty amazing. So most of these houses are owned, original owners. Every once in a while, every once in a while there will be some rentals. Lots of courts also in Rock Creek, which I really love. Nice big courts, dead end streets that serve as courts, which I think are great. But we, as I look at these houses, what I notice the most and why I think, why this is voted in my top five subdivisions in Rockland to live is because of its location being close to everything. It's very, very close to everything, which I love come through here. And so when I say close to everything, close to uh, Bel Air, Safeway, there's actually a, a, a nugget very close by. You have a Calfit. You have all of the little shops that you would need and little eateries close by. And some of the houses in this uh, subdivision back up to the Greenbelt, you know, and have a nice view of the park and such. So, you know, the houses are well kept, the yards are well kept. And also the other reason why I like this neighborhood is because kids are moving into it. So. At the time of life that I'm in, I have an eight, six, three, and one-year-old uh, boys. So life is pretty hectic, and I want to have kids in my neighborhood for my kids to play with, which we do. And the reason why this is happening is because most families 
uh, that had bought the house original, their kids have grown up, they're all off to college or away, and they're considering downsizing now. They're moving on to the next area or phase of their life. And so now we're having kids move into the neighborhood, which I love. Now here we are at Park Drive, which Park Drive is the same street as Pleasant Grove. So if you've been looking at houses for any length of time, you'll notice Pleasant Grove is a main street in Roseville. And when you get to a certain point, when it basically almost crosses over to Rockland, it turns into Park Drive. So it's a, it's the same street with a different name. If we were to go to the left, if we were to take a left here, we would actually hit uh, Nugget Market, Bevmo, Total Wine, Home Depot, Mexican restaurants, Chipotle. I mean, everything. Actually, there's a Walmart and Sam's Club less than a mile away from here. So everything is very, very close, centrally located. I'm going to cross over Park Drive here just to show you. This is the other side of Rock Creek here in Rockland, California. These houses can also range in that same 1,300 to maybe a few over that 3,300 square feet. But the reason I'm showing you this area and we're driving through here is because this is, is Rock Creek Elementary. So as you can see, the kids are lining up, just getting done with lunch most likely. This is the, the school that my children go to. So uh, Rock Creek Elementary, highly graded elementary school in Rockland. My kids love it. I have, at the time of this video, I have a son that is in third grade and one that's in first grade. So good times. But as we continue on around this park, and something that I think Rockland does really well with their elementaries is they typically have a park right next to the elementary school, which I love. So we're able to take the kids after school and enjoy this park. So as, as what's interesting about this park, it not only has a basketball court, but at the very end, you can't see in this video, but at the very end, they have a little tiny park for toddlers, really safe. You can kind of let them rain free and have fun. And we have two different play structures here, one for the younger kids and the older kids. We have a barbecue pit, a covered picnic area, very similar to what you'd see, what you'd expect at a Rockland Park. This is Sonora Park, which is right next to Rock Creek Elementary. I do have a video, so go ahead and check out my video for Sonora Park. I do park reviews as well as community reviews. My goal as the Rockland and Roseville realtor is to get families planted, rooted, and connected in community. So there's another one of those little book cubbies that we see all around Rockland that you can find some interesting books in there, which is great. So as we cross Sonora Pass here, what we're seeing is a newer development within the edge of Rock Creek that would still, still be considered part of it. But these houses were built in you know, 2012, 13, 14. These are a little bit newer, as you can see. And so I'm just driving around. These are also stucco with tile roofs, concrete slabs. Uh, most everything around here is concrete slabs. So you're not going to have basements, all these new builds. We have very solid ground in Rock Creek. There's a reason why it's called Rock Glen. It's full of rocks. So we don't have any foundational issues. If you're looking on moving to the area, it's not something that we deal with. We do have some, you know, heat and cold. I would say, you know, the cold gets probably from about, you know, 35 or 40 degrees to about 110 to 115 in the summer, probably average more in the 100, 100 to 105 for the most part. But I have, a, I have a client of a house I've sold right here on the corner of Westmeath. So they love this community. What's also great is there's the walking trail that I was telling you about at one side of Rock Creek. There's actually one that travels all the way here to this other side to Rucala Park, which I had mentioned earlier. So this, this is a great little walking trail. As you can see that park, we'll go around and take a look at it. But as you can see, there's a great little walking trail there that is really nice to just enjoy walking your dog or taking a walk with the kids in the evening time and we're going to come back out here actually to blue oaks which is one of uh, the main roads here that i said kind of encompasses uh, where the border or boundary line of rock creek across the way you see there's a sign that says stone creek that is considered what i call cressley springs area actually similar year built they have some bigger houses in there. Great, great little area. It's another one I really, really like. There's another elementary school over there as well. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna stick with Rock Creek. I will do Cressley Springs in another video for you. But I wanna take you to the other park in, in 
Rockland and Rock Creek called Rucala Park. And as you can see on the right hand side, you can kind of see a little bit of it, which is great. We're going to actually just kind of take a right here. Something that you'll notice is these houses are a little bit different structure than when we first saw, right? When we uh, first started this video. And so now we are heading into these houses are built just a little before the other ones. Different builder, of course. These houses are going to be a little bit cheaper, I would say, you know, five to 10 to 15% cheaper in some cases than where we started in the neighborhood that I live in. So right here, Rucala Park, beautiful walking trail that you can actually um, watch the sunset. Also, there'll be, you know, some soccer here and, and playing long field. You can come out here and throw some Frisbees and hang out the football. They have a full court basketball and then also uh, two play structures, which is also something common that you will see for Rockland Parks. You also see the barbecue pits, which are used during the summertime. And then they have a volleyball net. And this one has an interesting, interesting kind of nature area that you can walk through. So go ahead and see my video for Rucala Park that I've done as well, so that you can see everything it has to offer. I think it's a great park to live close to. There's another one of those book cubbies with full of books, of course. It's all about the kids. So as you can see, the elevation of these houses, the structure is slightly different. But what I would like to do is take you over here to the left to show you the shopping and everything that's close by in Rock Creek that I love. Everything is pretty much within walking distance if you wanted to. You can drive or ride a bike, of course. Now, if I were to take a right at this stop sign, I would actually uh, take my first left and I can end up right over there back at Night Ridge Park. So we are pretty close to Night Ridge Park now. We are now hitting Park Drive, as I told you, a semi-busy street in Rockland. But I'm gonna go left. And the reason I'm gonna go left is I'm gonna show you. We have a storage facility here. And then we actually have a Safeway. So Safeway, uh, in that parking lot, there's also a Panda Express, right? There is a, there is a Jim Boy's Tacos. There's gas station for the Safeway. There's Ohana Hawaiian barbecue. There's an original Pete's, which is American food. Uh, full bar, nice place to just go uh, grab a quick bite. And we also have a Chase Bank. And across the street, we have a B of A. We have uh, a Vietnamese place. I'm actually gonna go right here. And, and then to the left, we actually have a sushi place, a McDonald's, a Little Caesars, a Don Quixote, so it's a Mexican restaurant. We have a Cal Fit, Walgreens. Everything is right here within walking, which I absolutely love. So, so much here that I don't even have time to go to, through in this video. So if you're looking on moving, to Rockland, Roseville, Lincoln, the greater Placer or Sacramento County area, feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call. We can talk about your needs and desires. You can check out my other neighborhood videos uh, to give you a better idea, but nothing is better than seeing it in person. So feel free to schedule a fast track call or a city tour, and we'd love to help. My name is Brandon Leon, your Rockland and Roseville realtor and good luck on your home search. I hope you find the house that you need.